Hello there, my quilty friends. Joy Quilting here. I'm um, as part of the quarter of an inch foot videos. I was I was making these today. These are little squares for a project I'm making, and they complete and they top stitched. So I'm going to be stitching all around the outside edge, and I thought it was a good opportunity to show you the quarter of an inch foot at its at its best, really. This is my quarter of an inch foot. Now they're not all the same. Some are plastic. Some have got different markings. On this one, it's a, it's a banana foot. There are three, can you see the three little three little notches there? That one is quarter of an inch in front of the needle. That one is where the needle drops. And this one is quarter of an inch behind the needle. So you can get a quarter of an inch from all sides. Uh, the same markings are on the other side of this foot. So I can easily see how to start a quarter of an inch in and to stop a quarter of an inch before the end. So I'll just pop this foot on my sewing machine now and I'll, uh, I'll show you how it works. There you go. The foot now is on uh, the sewing machine. There we go. So I can, I like to put my uh, threads behind the needle. So I'm going to line up this square. It's on top of another square. So I'm going to go around leaving a gap for turning. So I'll be starting, um, let's start there. So if I drop the, the foot down, now then I know that that is a quarter of an inch from the edge. Okay. So I can stitch down now, I stitch slowly. And I am going to put a few um, stitches in the spot actually, because I'm going to turn this through, so I need these stitches to stay in place. So I'm going down, and as I get towards the bottom I can see this little notch here and as as that hits the edge you can see it that side and on the other side as it hits the edge of the fabric you know that your needle is now a quarter of an inch away so you lift your presser foot I'm using my knee lifter for this if you've got one it's a good place to use it so I'm going to stitch now down to the next corner and as I'm coming to the corner, I'll slow down and I'm looking for this, this notch, that notch, to just come to the edge of the fabric. Possibly one more stitch there, maybe not, no. So turn again and you can see that's exactly a quarter of an inch from there. And if I wanted to start um, my stitch in a quarter of an inch from the edge I would oh, you can't see it here but the third notch I showed you in the beginning at the back you put the beginning of your work to that notch I'll show you in a moment now and slowly and those notches are there so I know that's quarter of an inch turn See, so it's not just the mark, it's not just the width of the, the foot that's helping me. It's these notches that show me a quarter of an inch in front and a quarter of an inch behind my work. And here we come again to the, the next corner, slowly does it. Another one, I think, and stop with those little cutouts there. Turn your work around. Now, I'm not going to join it, I want to turn this through, so I'm going to go... So there's around about two inches to spare. And then I'm going to put some stitches in the spot. Just pop this foot off again so you can see those notches. If I wanted to start my stitching a quarter of an inch in from the edge, okay, I would need to put this down. Can you see those notches there? So that back notch there was at the edge of the fabric and when that back notch is there the needle will go down exactly a quarter of an inch in 